Hey, hey, post review time again. I finished this canvas and this actually completed my goal for the whole year of finishing 12 diamond paintings. This was my 12th finish of 2024 and I'm very excited to have reached that goal already when it's just the beginning of September. Um, I started this painting on August 8th, finished it on September 7th, which was another little milestone for me to finish a big-ish, big-ish kit in under a month. I've never done that before, so I was really excited to be able to achieve that. I did have to push through a little bit at the end. I, um, the last two rows, one and a half rows, I finished in three days, I think, which is kind of unlike me because that meant that I couldn't switch it up between paintings in the last few days to be able to finish this painting in under a month. But I did it and I'm really happy I did. Um, I'm now realizing I didn't even tell you the name. <laughs> this is Huckleberry Fairy by Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club and it's super super cute. Since when I purchased this I think in the beginning of this year, right when they announced that Hannah Lynn wasn't going to be licensing with Diamond Art Club anymore, I picked up this one and two other Hannah Lynn kits, so I think that was around March or so. Don't quote me on that, but I haven't had this in my stash for a super long time, but I was really excited that the random picker picked this one as an option and then you picked this one for me to do, so yay! This kit is 50.8 by 17.7 centimeters, which as I said, kind of biggish, medium-sized diamond painting. And it has 57 colors, including three fairy dust, one electro, I think at least it's called an electro, it's the L symbol, and two fairy dust, um, two ABs. Um, I did add a few extras myself. I think I only added ABs, but I'm doubting myself right now. I did pick out quite a lot of specials that I was planning on using in this one but I didn't end up using them all. For example I also had a dark brown fairy dust color picked out that matched the dark brown that was in the painting already but I didn't end up using that one because I didn't think it would look that good if some parts of that bear were highlighted in some sort and other parts weren't so I decided against using that and also decided against using some of the other specials I had picked out just because I didn't think they would look as good as just using the ones that were charted in here. Overall I had a really really great experience painting this one which is also why I finished it that quickly at least quickly for me. Um, I started at this bottom, worked my way up like that and I'm really happy I did start at the bottom because when I was done with that bottom row I was done <laughs> with the green and the blue and the confetti type things. So I was really happy to be moving on to a new section and I was also really curious to know if I would like that part, that quite big part of only dark colors, mainly black and dark brown. I'm not that much of a fan of those colors when it comes to diamond painting, so I was really curious to see how I'd feel like it, but it wasn't bad at all. It was only a relatively small part of the painting, of course, but it did mean like six, five or six sections existing of only black and brown. But they went fast because <laughs> there were only so little colors, so that was very nice. Um, the rest of the painting I did really, really enjoy. I was kind of over it <laughs> by the end, but that was also because I was pushing myself to finish it in under a month. Um, if I wouldn't have done that and if I would have switched it up at the end a bit more, then I would probably have enjoyed it a little better, but I still did enjoy it very, very much. I really love the outcome of this painting and I especially love the placement of the electro drills, which I will show you up close in a little bit. 
I also really really love how the wings came out. Obviously fairy wings are the designated spot to put ABs and special drills and all that kind of stuff so they did that and it didn't disappoint. I also really liked how many and how much of the fairy dust colors were in here but there was a bit of a disappointment in one of the fairy dust colors because I can't tell it's a fairy dust. I will also show you that up close in a little bit. If you really really pay attention and hold it to a certain light you can kind of see the shimmery coating on top but if you wouldn't know it was fairy dust yeah you wouldn't see it. So that's a bit of a shame but it's fine. Um, I also really really liked her purple hair. I'm usually not a fan of painting hairs as well because they're usually dull colors such in black brown that kind of stuff and they're also usually pretty confetti heavy but since over here it's relatively small part of the painting as well and since it's purple I enjoyed it a lot better. The other thing on this canvas that was a little bit weird maybe to me is her blue eyeshadow. I will pop a picture up of the original artwork on the screen right now so you can see what it looks like there. I think it kind of fits in there but it doesn't translate too well into a diamond painting in my opinion especially if you look at it a, bit, a little bit closer from this view like when you're looking at it like this it's, it looks fine and it, it does look fine I'm just nitpicking a little bit because this canvas is so pretty but yeah that's those were the two things that I was like mm, not the best and then by those two, two things I mean the fairy dust not being a fairy dust <laughs> and that blue eyeshadow part Breaking in here afterwards because I forgot to tell you a very exciting other part. This was the first painting I ever uh, did that I tracked my whole diamond painting time on this one painting. I started tracking my diamond painting time at the beginning of August and that's right when I started this one. So I know exactly how many hours and how many minutes it took me to complete this painting. Um, it took me 21 hours and 39 minutes, which is way, way less than I would have expected going in here. So I was really excited to have tracked that and to know how much time I actually spent when doing a diamond painting. So wanted to break in just to share that little detail as well. This was my first time using this storage system, which is the Elizabeth Ward knockoff version. I just bought this off of Timu um, because I can't justify to myself to spend over 50 euros for just the storage container. But these are all the leftover drills. As you can see, there's plenty left of all colors. And this one, the black one, I didn't even use the last bags. The downside of these drills were that they were very, very, very staticky. I think the worst I've ever seen from Diamond Art Club, but that's not their fault. That's, I think, an environmental temperature thing. But that's why there are a lot of pieces of dryer sheet in here. Most of these drills, if not all, I think there were a few colors that were the older drills with the facets, but uh, most were the new pointier drills. This is one of the AB uh, fairy dust colors. Pretty green one. Over here a white one. There's an AB. There's an AB. And over here another fairy dust. This is the one that's not really a fairy dust <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but since it was my first time using this storage system, I didn't realize there weren't enough containers to put all the colors in, so I ended up with six bags left over with just the colors that were the least amount of drills of. I just put in little bags and it was totally fine to do it like this. This is the other special drill, the electro drill 
I think. <laughs> and it's really, really pretty. The only place in the painting these were are in her eyes. So I think they gave like at least double the amount of jewels as needed. So I have a little extra, which is nice to be using in another kit in the future. But now let's take a closer look. First going to show you the electro drills in her eyes. Do you see how pretty these are? It's super, super pretty. And there's also white fairy dust in her eyes, which is also very lovely. So as you can see, there were only, let me count, 8, 10, 15, and 22 of these drills in the whole painting. And they gave you plenty. So that's really cool. Also really love her little lips. <laughs> And over here in her hair, there are two AB colors mixed, which I think looks nice. And then her pretty wing with, again, AB fairy dust. Super, super pretty. Also really like painting this piece for some reason. <laughs> All the white that you see is fairy dust. And this color is such a pretty color. <laughs> this purpley blue one. Then over here we have the little cute bear, which I think is rendered beautifully. And then at the bottom, all the berries. I did add ABs in here myself. There weren't any ABs charted in here, so I added a dark blue and a dark purple because I thought that would look nice as sort of a highlight on the berries. And now I'm going to try to show you the fairy dust that isn't really fairy dust. <laughs> Which is this one. You can kind of tell it's sort of a bit shimmery in some lighting. But if you compare it to, for example, this fairy dust, this green one. The shimmer on this one is so, so much more than it is on that purple one. And also on that white one, there's also a lot more shimmer than there is on the purple one. But it's fine. It still looks amazing. And I still absolutely love painting it. And you can see in the skin tone how beautifully the drills fit the grid that Diamond Art Club has created. You can't see any gapping at all in the skin tone, which is a huge accomplishment. So, yeah, that will do it for this post review. I'm really, really happy to have this done. Happy to have reached my goal. And yeah, happy to move on to another painting as well. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye, have a nice day.